Hi. Recently, Dylan Goose Studios finally released their custom build of Blender that they've always used to tease me on Twitter with. Oh, and also to make anime stuff, I guess. But none of this matters. You are here for Spider-Verse Depth of Field. So just download their build and let me introduce you to my new best friend, the ScreenSpace Info Node. This little bad boy gives us access to a depth pass right in the viewport, which is something that I wanted basically since I was born. If you know how this effect works, then you might already see where this is going. But all you gotta do is smash a plane in front of the camera. And thanks to our new best friend, we can do real-time compositing right on this plane. So just take the scene depth, put it through a map range node so it stops burning out your eyes and use it to displace another string space info node along the x-axis. And another one, but multiplied by minus one to inverse it. Then separate all the three scene color slots that we created into its color channels and combine them back using one channel from each node and there you go! Just add a color ramp or something else to control the intensity and you're mostly done. But this setup has one problem. The sky. You see, because the sky is very far away, it will always be the brightest place in our depth pass. And because we basically just shift the image wherever it's bright in the depth pass, everything that's in front of the sky will look like it's very far away. To prevent that, I just masked out the sky entirely. There's probably some smart math shit that you can do to have the effect probably applied everywhere. But my brain doesn't support math and therefore I will just leave it as it is. Just like this video. Bye!